Welcome to my fourth grade place value breakout, um, Attack of the Number Munchers. So the sweet little guys on your computer screen have broken out kind of Wreck-It Ralph style and are eating up important digits. So the kids have to break out in order to reset the game so the number munchers go back to their game and leave us alone. Um, I'm just going to use my game flow template to walk through the different uh, locks that I have for this game. The first one that I have is a four digit lock. Uh, they will need to find the random styrofoam cups that you had hidden around the room, already created, already filled with specific numbers. And once they do that, they're going to realize that, oh, the yellows probably go together, and the greens go together, and the blacks have something to do together, too. They will need to scan these different codes with some kind of QR reader. One of the codes will have them enter the digit in standard form for the yellow cups that they put in order. And when they do, they will be taken to um, another link. I can't remember which is which, but one of them gives hints that tell them how to decipher the directional lock later. And it says, this is going to come in handy for a different lock later. The other code will take them to a link um, that once they enter the other standard form, it will take them to a link that tells them that they need to order the black digits in a specific way. And once they do it, points them to four specific digits, and it tells them what order to enter it to unlock the four-digit combination. Um, after that, I want to talk about the keyed lock. The key, I say in my hint that the key is going to be hidden by the social studies books in an envelope. So I love the hidden message um, clue because it allows a lot of different kids to work on problems. So what I have are there are three sheets to the hidden message clue. One of them is actually locked in a pencil box to kind of give them a hint that they'll need that. And um, as the kids solve the problems, they'll have one answer that's correct. Under the correct answer is a specific word. This makes no sense until you have the UV flashlight that's locked in the pencil box. And once you do, you'll see the order that these words will go in the sentence. So once they unlock the words, it'll say something like, you will find an important envelope near the social studies books. So I'll go find the um, key. So in the locked pencil box is a UV flashlight and one of the sheets doesn't matter which one from the keyed lock clue. In order to break into that they need to basic knowledge level stuff they're just identifying which numbers are in standard form, word form, or expanded form. When they look at it they assign each of these a point value based on the key at the top of the page. They'll add up the values, and that will give them the three digits that they need to unlock the locked pencil box. Uh, the directional lock, which I referred to earlier, remember they get some kind of hint from one of these links when they enter the correct answer that, hey, you're going to need this later. All they're doing is comparing numbers, and there are four directional lock problems. They can sit in front of the directional lock and try the different um, combinations, but it's going to take a while. If they have the UV flashlight, they can shine it on it, and it'll tell them which one's first, second, third. But they also have to know what greater than, equal to, and less than are equal to as far as directions. And that's what they get from the link from a previous clue. Um, the next one that I have is just a bonus. You don't have to use this one. I got an image lock, and these are not resettable, so this one is specific to this um, lock. But it was an add-on from Amazon, and it's just fun to do every once in a while. If you have an extra lock, a number lock, or word lock, you could totally change this clue just so you can have that bonus lock on your box. Um, I love quizzes. If you go onto quizzes.com, I think, and create a free teacher account, um, you can use this quiz in your account. You will have to set it as homework. So this code will not work for yours because it expires after two weeks. Um, so, and you want to get the results anyway for your students. So you'll have to go in, put the quiz into your account, and do what you need to for that. I usually have quizzes because it's a great anchor activity for those kids that are off task or just don't know what to do. I'll say, hey, go on the quizzes. Even if it's been figured out, they can still do it for extra practice. Um, I usually have a specific benchmark that they have to hit. So five of their, kid, of their classmates have to get 85% or better. And when I see five different iPad screens that have that, they will unlock this clue which it just gives them hints on, as to what the images are on my lock. And then at the bottom, it tells them how to open that lock, because that one's a hard one for them to figure out. My pride and joy of this one is my word lock clue. So the word, the clue, or the combination is tasty. And the way that they get to that is they have to identify the digit that is in the specific place that I have listed here. 
And when they do, they're going to have to text old school style to figure out what the letters mean. So I found a video on YouTube where a guy is explaining how to text using a flip phone, flip phone and it literally takes them one minute to text hello, which I get a kick out of, and I think the kids will too. Um, but it kind of breaks it through, like walks them through a little bit how to do it. So for example, the first letter that they need is just answer one. So after, hopefully after they watch that video, they're going to see, okay, eight. I tap eight one time, so that must mean it's a T. The second letter is answer two, which happens to be a number two. You're only tapping it one time, so that's an A. The third letter, it's answers three through six, and that is an S, so it's seven, 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 seven. If they write those down, they're going to say, okay, I have to tap that four times, so that must be an S. Hopefully they'll figure this one out. This is going to be a fun one to watch. Those are all my clues that I have. Once they break out, we will reset the game and the number bunchers will go back to their game and leave our world alone. I hope your fourth graders enjoy the place value breakout. See ya!